Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com. Today we're taking today we're taking a look at an application that I've been using recently that I think is worth sharing for you OS 10 users, you Mac users who are uh, wanting a little bit more to Finder. Now, this application, actually, I, I just found it my own. I found from a podcast I listened to called the Mac Power Users. So, no way is this endorsed or, you know, even I'm, I'm still actually using the trial version myself and learning a lot about this. Um, but I'm uh, more on the side of actually buying the full version uh, and, and, or, and or upgrading if you're from a previous, uh, what do you call that, uh, previous version to take a look at this. This is by the guys over at Coco Tech, and this is called Pathfinder. Pathfinder is a whole new way to uh, kind of re revamps the finder. Not necessarily it doesn't revamp the default finder. It gives you a whole new file explorer and uh, one that is really accurate and quick and just more productive uh, that goes hand in hand more with OS 10. You know, OS 10 uh, does a great job of simplifying a lot of stuff for the common user out there, but I think finder is a little bit too simple and a little bit to uh, you know, it doesn't give you enough features, and what I what I really miss from Windows, and uh, and I never thought I'd be saying this, but is the Explorer. The Explorer did a decent job of doing uh, file management and having you to allow open you know uh, multiple windows, etc., uh, to navigate and share files. Now, Pathfinder uh, is a file management system, like I said, just like uh, Finder is. It allows you to do a couple things: create temporary stacks, work work side by side, we use tabs, and do a whole bunch of other things. Cool stuff like built-in text editing, uh, nice thing, preview options, and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, some of the features I like and explain a little bit more about this. But uh, if you're interested in this, check out CocoTech.com/pathfinder, and you can see the prices up here. Uh, and I'm definitely looking to upgrade uh, very, very soon. I'm just trying out the free trial first. So here's regular Finder. This is Finder right here, and you can see uh, normal uh, Finder with all my stuff I've been, you know, recently working on here. Uh, now let's, for example, go to uh, not the. Let's see, I don't want to show you. I don't have to show you any work that I have uh, not supposed to release yet, but there's any video stuff like that. Um, but here is regular Finder, and here is or yeah, regular Finder, and here is Pathfinder. Now you can tell right off the bat the difference in the look and feel. Some people may prefer the simplism of Finder, but what I don't like about Finder is to open up a new. Let's say if I want to open up another Finder window, I need to. I can't, you know, click right here and just simply open up another Finder window. I need to right click it and then, you know, new Finder window. And I'm sure you can do shortcuts and all that. And then this is, you know, your task at hand when kind of transferring files to, uh, you know, Finder. You need to take this and then drag it over here. And it just becomes kind of a pain, and you know you don't have a tree to kind of show a directory in. If you're kind of going down, like for example, if I go into uh, where is it here? Where's about my? Or I guess you go Kid Guru here, and then if I go down here, like I have these pane right here, and you can see here, I can just you know I have to navigate through here, and then I have this nice kind of column pane, but again, it's not nicely kind of integrated. And I do have some options here to change views. I have like you know list view. Uh, and what else do I have here? I also have uh, like the whole uh, what do you call it? I can do like the preview thing up here, so I can preview kind of stuff that I'm looking at. Uh, but it's it's not that great now. Pathfinder, what it offers compared to Finder, what I really really like here is so here's your sidebar. You get recent documents, you get stuff you've searched for, you get places, just like you would on Finder. But this is, it adds one thing called a drop stack, so you can add. Uh, whoops, here I mean to click all movies. Whoops, whoa showing all my movies and uh, you can see there tons of uh, video files anyways um, you can see here if I click add to drop stack what this allows you to do uh, you can keep drop stack open or you can hide drop stack what drop stack is uh, and I, I just hit it there but um, what it what it does essentially is is it allows you maybe I can get that back for you drop stack what it allows you to do is to create a temporary you know if you've ever created a file where like you need to store stuff on your desktop or something uh, you just don't know exactly where to put the video you can or you know file you can just simply drop it into this drop stack and this will put it in a temporary location in this little drop stack and then you can kind of go back in later and organize where you need it to go that way you don't get really you know a clutter of files it's essentially like putting it in a temporary folder uh, but still I really really do like that I'm gonna go ahead and close that for now uh, you have all your common stuff you'd have here, but you can tell from here the whole finder looks different. The whole way you browse files and all that is different. Now, a couple things here. So, for example, let's go into, uh, let's see here, Kid Guru, and then let's go right into uh, the, uh, I guess the applications folder will do. So, it shows two applications here in the application folder, even though I have more, and I guess this is just the folder issue here. I recently did reinstall, so maybe that's the reason. 
Uh, I have two applications here. Now you can see here I get the common preview, but I like, you see here, I get these panes. I get these panes that are much more easier and laid out, or not panes, but columns. And I can change view here. I can do a dual column view. So for example, I can have two of these open, and then on the one on the right right here, I can be in my Macintosh HD, and I can be navigating through users, and then I can be navigating through here, and then I can simply, again, drag files over left and right if needed. You know, it, it's really simple. It's basically having two finder windows in one. I can go back here. It's kind of just like that home button or that native back button in my computer on Windows. Uh, essentially, you can also change the view again. You can have it split like this. You can have a bottom thing here, so you can have more information. Now, you can turn off as you please the type of views you get, so I can turn this off and just have this, or I can do it, you know, otherwise I can turn everything off and just have the normal view, which is just this right here, a more kind of spacious view. You can see across the top here, you also have stuff like this. You also have the uh, documents. You can click down here, and you're kind of like your favorites, quick access bar. You can add favorites right here, and you can open them in actually new tabs. So let's say I want to open up, for example, uh, documents in a tab. Now I have these tabs here that I can rearrange and easily browse all in one big finder window. So you can see all my documents right here, and I can click right here in application. So I don't have necessarily have multiple windows, but if I drag out, I can have a whole separate window just for that applications folder. You know, you still have that common view. You can change the way you view things. So you can change the way you view documents. You can change the way you get the list view. You can get the overview. You can get that column view. Really, really awesome. And if you want, you can get the whole, uh, what is this? I think this is the preview. Yeah, just the preview button. Uh, so you, you get those preview options. But it even adds on more to that. You can do stuff like cool stuff like this. It adds panes on the left to make Finder more useful. You get stuff like processes. You can see the current processes running. You can get terminal windows on the bottom. You can get your recent documents here on the right. So it's stuff you've been working with, like video files. You can see there are video files um, and Final Cut Pro. Like I don't know if I was editing in something in Final Cut Pro. It shows that. Uh, you can filter by name. You still have your search. You also have access to your uh, current progresses if you're running any file operations because it allows you to do a whole bunch of other cool stuff like, uh, what do you call it, batch renaming. Uh, you can see here you can do commands. You have access to commands. You can do plugins like disk, disk image, uh, hex editors, screen capture, tag groups, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. You can do all from this really, really powerful file window. I'm running on seven minutes here. Uh, I don't really want, you know, I don't really want to go into a full in depth thing. Again, I've only been using it for a while, but there's so much cool stuff. I'm only on the free trial. You can buy it, you know, buy the full version to get uh, access to the full thing. I'm not sure how the free trial is. I think it may be like 30, I don't know if it's 30 days or how long it is, but I'm really, really loving Pathfinder. In the last couple of days, I've used it. A way, way better alternative to Finder. And, uh, you know, it just reminds me a lot of Windows and just gives you a lot of more powerful features that, that Finder doesn't provide. Uh, I agree this isn't for everybody. This is for the people who want a little bit more out of their file transfers, a little bit more of the power user side of the OS X users. So do check this out if you're looking to get a little bit more out of Finder. Hopefully I can do more videos and tutorials on complete overview and uh, advanced features of Pathfinder coming up soon. Anyways, guys, I'm Adrian. Don't forget to like the video, comment on your thoughts, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the website at digitaldojos.com.